Hey gang, Spunimus Prime here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origins Jazz. And I won't lie to you, this is a very good figure. I suggest you go pick it up at your local Targets or at anywhere online that is for its current price value but not price hiked because this is a really good figure and has a really good alt mode. Taking a quick look at it here, you got the nice silver paint app here for the grill. You've got a nice paint job here for the hood here. And then for the back, recreating that faithful G1 accurate uh, show model. Nice paint here for the back. Got a nice spoiler in the back. I think it look, works really well. Unfortunately, it doesn't really paint match all that well, in my opinion. But it's because it's blue plastic and it's white. White and blue don't really mix very well. Especially when it's blue plastic with white paint. Some Most of the time, the, the white paint will bleed over the blue plastic. But getting into size compar comparisons here. Here he is with Earthrise Optimus Prime. And as you can see, very, very short. Very small, too. Earthrise Wheeljack. About the same length here. Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead. Transformer Studio Series Gamer Edition Barricade. And Studio Series 86 Perceptor in his tank mode, even though he doesn't really have one in the show. With that out of the way, let's go straight to transformation, shall we? First thing we're going to do is we're going to Pop this hood here up, it would untab these side panels here and here. And then next you're gonna do is you're gonna pull these out. And then what you're gonna do here is you're going to pull pull back the feet. A little accordion out. Next thing we're gonna do here is we're going to pull this out and back. Then we're gonna open up this section here, pull this out, that'll come in handy later. Rotate the arm section here, flip out the wrists, what we're going to do here, we're going to untab the feet, open it up from this side here, bring this panel in, and then tab it back up. Same thing for this side here. One thing I'd like to say is this side really tabs in way too well. Bring this down. Bring, tab that back in. Bring this back around. Then you're going to flip out the feet. Just like that. And then after you get everything straightened out here, you're going to bring this down. Last but not least, take this part here, bring it up, bring it around, and bring it down. And there we go. There is Transformers Legacy Buzz with the Bumblebee Origins Jazz in his robot mode. And looking very nice. Very, very faithful to that uh, G1 on screen appearance. Look at the head here. There's the head, a nice, beautiful head sculpt here. In my opinion, way better than the Studio Series Jazz. Got some nice paint apps here for the chest. Nice paint here for the arms right here. Nice silver or nice gray paint, not silver, here for the abdomen section. Got some nice gray here for the shins. Nice gray for the feet. Other than that, everything we've already seen in the alt mode. We've got a nice Autobot symbol right there. Now for articulation wise, see he's got a ball joint. He can look up that far, down that far. Arms can go up that far. Got a nice 360 range of motion here. 
as that comes untabbed. Doesn't ha that doesn't happen very often. Bicep rotation. No wrist rotation, though. Can bend inwards due to transformation. 90, 90 degrees of elbow bend here. Got waist swivel here. Legs can go up that far. Back that far. A little under 90 degrees of bend there. Got some ankle pivot. And so it can move down due to transformation, but cannot move up. Oh, and I forgot to mention that he has thigh rotation. With his standard pistol here. And for people who, I, I actually don't know the name of this weapon, but that's why I'm calling it a pistol here. It's a nice looking pistol. Very G1 accurate, very reminiscent of its G1 appearance in the cartoon. Next thing we have here is the uh, grapple slash rope line, which this figure does not come with a rope line. And then for the last accessory, we do have the actual grapple itself. Very nice. Now he can actually hold his gun. It's just a standard 5mm port. Plugs into his hand, just like so. He can hold it very well. The weapon is actually bluish compatible, as you can see here. Another thing he can do here is if we just flip the f uh, fist in, we got a five millimeter, five millimeter port. It is on both hands. You can just barely see that. Now. With the grapple, you can just plug the grapple in, just like so, or for use of all three of his accessories, plug that in right there. Unfortunately, I have a very hard time plugging it into my copy. And then you can actually plug this in right there hair not included and I think it's a very faithful rendition of the more than meets the eye episode parts one and two where he actually uses it to get both Optimus and Hound, Optimus and Hound out of the dam and the river and the lake and yes this is bluish compatible As you can see here, and then you can plug this in to there, just like so. Studio Series Gamer Edition Barricade. Studio Series 86 Perceptor, as you can see, very tall. And then uh, Transformers Earthrise, Leader Class Optimus Prime. As you can see, Jazz is absolutely more shorter than Optimus Prime. And I know I said, uh, as you can see, very tall, uh, point, uh, speaking about Jazz, but Jazz is actually shorter than Perceptor, correcting that mistake here. And as you can see, that's basically it for Buzz with the, Bum Buzz with the Bumblebee Origins Jazz. That's a mouthful. And until then, I'll see you next time.